ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಉಡಾನ್ ದೀಪಕ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಟಮ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಿಷಯ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಇದೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸಾಲಿನ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಂಕಲ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮೌಲ್ಯ ಮಾಪನ ಒಂದು ಎಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ so ssc sir mid term examination 24 25 total marks 80 so let us begin our discussion and this is part one of my discussion wherein i will be discussing all the one mark questions subsequently in other parts i will be discussing two three four mark questions okay so let us begin our discussion on this okay so i hope this paper will help for the preparation for upcoming examination of mid term maths paper okay so let us begin our discussion on that see first question is the product of prime factor of 24 is so how to find the prime factors of 24 see prime factors of 24 you can calculate by what 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 2 six are 12 2 threes are 6 and 3 ones are 3 so you are having the 2 cube into this is 3 so total you will get what 2 cube into 3 this is option d is the right answer then a quadratic polynomial can have at most how many zero so maximum how much quadratic quadratic means whose degree is how much degree is 2 if degree is 2 then it will have how many zeros it will have two zeros the answer is what option c the standard form of quadratic equation you know what is the standard form of quadratic equation it is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 that means coefficient of x square coefficient of x and constant now it is 2x square is here i will take this 7 here it will become minus 7x this minus 5 take on that it will become plus 5 equal to 0 so which is matching with this it is 2x square minus 7x plus 5 so option c is the right answer so i hope you got this one okay so next question i will be moving on to question number 4 if a pair of linear equation is consistent then the lines will be always coincident the parallel always intersecting coincident or intersecting see you know the conditions for co coincident lines so when you tell that uh, sorry uh, consistent when do you tell that the lines are consistent when the two uh, there are two conditions either they should be intersecting lines or they should be the yes uh, co coincident lines see here consistent is not you are having solution so only coincident lines and intersecting lines will be having what uh, having solution because uh, intersecting lines have only one solution where has a coincident lines have uh, infinitely many solutions parallel lines have no solution since parallel lines have no solution therefore they are inconsistent so the answer is what option b either the, the linear pair of pair of linear equations can be coincident or they can be intersecting okay so now coming to next the sum of the first n given positive integer is very important question which is see the sum of n positive integer is what the answer is n into n plus 1 so if you ask sum of given n instead of odd so odd positive integers is what the answer is n square if they ask natural numbers n natural number that means not even or all the natural numbers if they ask so what is the sum sum of n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 whole divided by 2 so this one you should remember the sum of first and natural number n is equal to n into n plus n by 2 sum of all is n square even is n into n plus 1 so this is question number 5 so i will move on to next uh, question here okay you can find question number 6 see in the figure if de is parallel to bc so they said that this de is parallel to bc then the value of ec is so you should find this now you see here the double of this 1.5 double is 2 similarly double of 1 is what 2 so the answer is 2 this is the best method to solve now how to do this by using by ppt that is by third square what will we get left side fraction ad by db is equal to right side fraction ad by ec so what is ad ad is 1.5 db is 3 ae is 1 i need to find ec so here you ones are twos are will come ec will move here it will become ec ones are ec 2 will move here 2 ones are 2 the answer is 2 cent or you can do directly because 1.5 double is 3 similarly 1 double is what 2 so like this you should be able to solve this one coming to question number 7 the distance of point from x axis see whenever we ask the distance of point from uh, any letter okay see the distance of point from the x axis they have asked see the distance of point from x axis is y axis that is y y coordinate okay distance of uh, yes 
the distance of point 3 comma 4 from x axis is y coordinate so the y coordinate is minus 4 but distance cannot be negative so the answer is what 4 units see the distance of point from the x axis is y coordinate and the distance of point from y axis is x coordinate now answer is x coordinate but it distance they have asked about distance you know that distance cannot be negative therefore the answer is what plus 4 units even though you get negative you should write positive only why because distance cannot be negative Thus, question number 8. So, you can find the question number 8 is the sum of zeros of polynomial. So, if you ask sum, you know what is the formula for sum of zeros. See, the sum of zeros of polynomial is alpha plus beta is minus b by a. So, minus b is what? This is a, this is where this is b is. Minus is in formula minus 2. a is what? what? Minus minus uh, get cancel minus into minus plus. The answer is 2. So, you will get b as the right answer. So, we have asked only sum directly use the formula. Then coming to the next question, what is the HCF of consecutive natural numbers? So, what is the HCF of consecutive natural numbers? Which are the consecutive numbers? The numbers which are uh, adjacent to each other. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are called natural numbers. So, the HCF, there is no common between 1 and 2. So, the HCF of consecutive natural number is HCF equal to 1. They are co primes. So, 1 means what? You should remember. 1 means if HCF is 1, if HCF equal to 1, sorry, if HCF equal to 1, we call it as co primes. So, what are co primes? The numbers whose HCF is 1, we call it as co primes. Okay. Coming to next one. If HCF of 12 and 24 is 12, then HCF is. So, you know, H into L. This is a very famous formula that HCF is equal to A into B. They have given what? HCF is 12. That means H is equal to 12. This is A. A is 12. And again, B is what? 24. Now, substitute. We need L. LCF is equal to A into B divided by HCF. A is 12. B is 24. H is 12. So, 12 ones are 12 ones are get cancelled. So, what is the answer? LCM is equal to 24. So, the right answer is 24. So, I hope you got how to solve this one. Then, coming to the next question. Write the degree of the given polynomial. So, how to find the degree? You know, degree is nothing but the highest power of x. So, which is the highest power of x here? 3. So, the answer is what? Uh, 3. So, degree is equal to 3. So, the highest power of x is 3. Degree is 3. How many solutions does a pair of linear equation x plus y plus 5 equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 have? So, how many solutions does the have? That one I will be doing now. See here for that we need to find a1 by a2. So, a1 by a2 is how much? 1 by 2. Similarly, b1 by b2. The number beside y is b1 by b2. Then c1 by c2 is 5 by minus 10. 5 ones of 5 to the this is minus 1 by 2. Now you can find that this and this are equal. They do not have equal. That is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. Since it is minus sign here, it is not equal to c1 by c2. Only a and b are equal. If a and b are equal, then those are what parallel lines. Parallel lines means they will never meet. If they don't meet, they are having no solution. In consistence. The answer is what? How many solutions they have? The two pair of linear equations have no solution. Okay. Then find the roots of q. I hope you got this one. I just move on to next question. Okay. So the next question is what? Find the roots of quadratic equation. What are the roots? x square minus 36 equal to 0. This one you take here. x square is equal to 36. x is equal to plus or minus root 36. Y plus or minus. Since it is quadratic equation, you should know that you should write both positive and negative signs. Okay. Now it will become x is equal to plus or minus 6. So the right answer is what? x is equal to plus or minus 6. That is the roots of this q. Then coming to next question number 14. If the nth term of an AB, okay, I hope you got this one. Kindly take a note of it, okay. And if you are finding helpful, kindly like, share, and subscribe and join the, uh, the WhatsApp link and the Telegram in order to get access to PDF of this notes. Okay, so if you are finding it helpful, I request you to kindly like, share, and subscribe. So I will move on to the next question. That is, if the nth term of an AP, they have given an is equal to 3n plus 1, you should find what's common difference, that is D. You know what is formula for d is a2 minus a1. Now you do one thing in place of n you write 1. So what is n? n is equal to 1. 3 into 1 plus 1. 3 ones are 3. 3 plus 1 is how much? 4. Similarly a2. a2 is what? In place of n you write. In place of n you write 2. So a2 is equal to here in this 3. n you write 2 plus 1. Here 
So 3 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is how much? 7. Now what is D? D is equal to A2 minus A1. A2 is second term. A2 is how much? 7. This is 4. 7 minus 4 is what? 3. So we got common difference is how much? Common difference is equal to 3. So I hope you got question number 14. Then coming to question number 15. State triple A similarity criteria. Okay, so what is triple A similarity criteria? It states that if in two triangles the corresponding angles, sorry, corresponding angles are equal, then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion, and hence the two triangles are similar. Okay, like this, you should be able to by heart this. So I will repeat once again: if in two triangles, if the corresponding angles are equal, then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion, and hence the two triangles are similar. So that is a theorem. You should only write the statement. Remember, you should only write what statement it is only for one mark uh, don't write the entire theorem the entire theorem should be written only for four or five mark if it is asked okay but statement you should by heart in order to get the full marks even though it is asked for four mark you should rewrite the statement okay then coming to next find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points so you know midpoint formula so what is midpoint formula can you tell this see midpoint formula is P of x comma y equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So x1 is how much you see the coordinate this one are x1 y1 and the second one are x2 and y2. I'll just rewrite it x1. x1 is how much 6. x2 is how much 2 divided by 2. Then 4. y1 is 4. This is 6 by 2. So 6 plus 4, 2 is 8 by 2 minus 4 by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 4 are 8, 4, 2 ones are 2, 2 are minus 2. The answer is what? 4 comma minus 2 you will get. Okay. Then coming to next uh, question, that is question number 17. Answer the following question. You will get 8 uh, questions of 2 marks each. Show that 5 minus 2 root 3 is irrational. So I will be solving this in the subsequent video. Just kindly go through the question paper once so that uh, I will be discussing in the subsequent sessions. Okay. Find the quadratic equation whose zeros are 4 and 1. Solve by using elimination method, you should solve. Then by using the discriminant b square minus 4ac, you should find the value of k for equations 2x square plus kx plus 3 so that they have two equal roots. Then find the nature of roots of quadratic equation means directly you should find discriminant. Find the roots of quadratic equation, middle term splitting method, you should do. Which of the which term of an AP 21, 18, 15 is minus 81? You should find AN okay, or N you should find. Which term is N you should find? Diagonals, diagonals AC and BD of a trapezium. Very important sum is this trapezium. AB is parallel to BC, intersect each other at point O. Using similarity criteria. See the thing is they already mentioned that you should use what similarity criteria. Using similarity criteria for two triangles show that OA by OC is equal to OB by OD. Or they have given this beautiful triangle with the beautiful figure DE is parallel to AC and DF is parallel to AF. Sorry, DF is parallel to AEB. So this uh, is printed uh, around here. See, DF, this line is parallel to this. So it is AE. Okay, here it should be E. Prove that BF by FE is equal to BE by EC. So this one is right. Then directly by using distance formula, find the distance between the points minus 5 comma 7 and minus 1 comma 3. Distance formula directly you should use. Then coming to most important three mark question. As you already know, you should by heart watch root 2, root 3, and root 5. This out of three three marks, one question will be fixed. This is like a theorem. Are you how you remember theorem? And like in out in the languages, in how you by heart the uh, what poems. Similarly, in the maths, you should remember the uh, root 3 is irrational. It is like a poem itself. Three marks you will fetch directly. Okay, just for remembering. Find the LCM and HCF of 500 and 90 point verify relationship. You know relationship. H into L, that is LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers, that is A into B. Then five years since the age of Jacob. So as I previously discussed, the problems are ages are what? Very much important. So ages problems are very much fixed. Five, five years hence the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Five years ago the Jacob's age was seven times that of his son. What are their present ages? Or if you add one to numerator and subtract one from denominator, uh, a fraction reduces to one. It becomes one by two if you only add one to denominator. What is the fraction? If the sum of the first 14 terms of an AP is 1050 and its first term is 10, find the 20th term, this is 3 mark. And one more here, in an AP the sum of 4 terms is 20 and sum of the squares is 120, find the 4 terms. 
then this is the the question which is not present in textbook so in order to uh, get very much perfect in ap kindly solve previous year questions so i will be solving them subsequently okay a girl of 590 cm is walking away from the base of a lamp post at speed of 1.2 meter per second if the lamp is 3.6 meter above the ground find the length of shadow up to 4 second this is from the triangles okay so similarity criteria theorem we should use so subsequently i will be doing this now just i discuss fast here there are total 38 questions e is point on side ad produced of a parallelogram abcd and b intersect cd at f show that the triangle abe is similar to triangle cfd D is point on side BC of a triangle ABC such that angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. Show that CS square is equal to CB into CD. So this is also there in the textbook. Okay, exercise question it is. In the in what ratio? So again, this what ratio question is very much important. Try section from coordinate geometry. So in what ratio does the point divide the line segment joining the points minus four comma six divide the line segment joining the points A minus six comma uh, ten? This is P. Okay, and B is equal to B is three comma minus eight. Or determine if the points are collinear. So if the points one comma five, two comma three, minus two comma minus three are collinear. So in order to tell the collinear, you should find the distance. Find the zeros of quadratic polynomial 6x square minus 3. So you should rearrange this. Okay, this should always be standard form. 6x square minus 7x minus 3 will come. I verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. So answer the following questions. Solve graphically. So graph is four marks this question. Skill only one question you will get that is pencil work. You should write the graph itself. Then show that the points 1 comma 7, 4 comma 2, minus 1 comma minus 1, and minus 4 comma 4 are vertices of a square. So you should find six types of distance formula you should use. The sum of first seven terms of an AP is 49, and sum of 17 terms is 289. Find the sum of first 10, 10 terms. Again, it is from the textbook dated question from the exercise itself. The sum of three numbers of an AP is 18, and sum of the squares of the extremes is 104. Then find the uh, AP and the sum of the first 40 terms. So this one is important. Okay, I, I hope uh, if you have referred the previous year questions or some standard books, you will be finding this, but no way you find it in textbook. Okay. Then train some as usual ages and train some suffix from QE. Okay. Uh, a train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours to cover the same distance, find the speed of the train. Then last five mark one question you will get that is state and proof Thiel's theorem. So if you are finding it helpful, kindly like, share and subscribe. And if you are having any doubt or any kind of suggestions or feedback, kindly put it in the comment box below so that I am glad to answer all your questions. So thank you and all the best.